In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to set up Android Studio. We're going to first start out by heading over to developer.android.com and you're going to go to slash studio. Okay, so you see that in your browser right there. On the main screen, you're going to see download Android Studio Koala feature drop. It's going to pop up some terms and conditions. And at the very bottom, you're going to accept those and you're going to download Android Studio. So it'll light up for you and then you will download those and we'll bring that up so you guys can all see it. Um, but you'll see there's the, I have read and agree. Um, once you download it and I read and agree it, and um, you'll also see you can have a chance to earn this Android Studio user badge and all. Um, it will prompt you to log into your Google account um, at that point if you want to earn that badge. So it will pop up to log you into your Google account to sign in. Once that's downloaded here, um, it is fairly large. Uh, so it's a 1.1 gigabyte download. So I did this before I um, started. You're going to want to launch that download to launch the installer. Um, it's going to ask if you're on a Windows computer if you want to allow the installer to make changes and all. Um, you'll have to accept yes. Um, that likely didn't show up on the recording. Uh, so if you guys didn't see that. Uh, and then give the installer a minute or so to pop up. And we're going to walk through it here. We'll try to make that a little bit bigger so everybody can see it. Alright, so we're going to guide through our setup. Here we just uh, read over the screen, click next. Choose which components you want. Um, I'm going to also include the Android virtual drive. It's chosen by default. Okay, that'll help and optimize it for when you're testing and doing your emulator. Um, again, you're gonna wanna make sure you have the minimum space requirements uh, that your computer requires of 500 megabytes of free space. Uh, you're gonna need to have like 16 gigabytes of memory at a minimum as well, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to change my location. My C drive doesn't have a lot of space. Um, I'm going to use my D drive. So be mindful of um, you know, your installation paths and such when you're doing the install because that's always important. Um, choose where you, the folder you want it to go in. The default is good. Um, if you don't want any shortcuts, you can choose not to create shortcuts, but I want them. We're going to let the install go ahead. And again, depending upon your environment, your computer that you're installing this on, um, will kind of determine how long it takes for your installation and your download to all occur. I am on a high speed um, gigabyte back connection um, as well as a, a computer that's got 64 gigabytes of memory. So it's fairly quick. Um, if you have any issues at all, check your details. Um, if everything should install cleanly and all, um, but if it wasn't successful, you're going to want to check the details, see what went wrong, and then work from there to troubleshoot. Well, once it's done, um, you can click here to complete and to launch it. We're going to do that, finish it. And we'll let that start up. Um, it's prompting to um, improve um, Android Studio on my other screen, uh, so you guys can't quite see that. Um, but what I'll do is, uh, opt to don't send or send you six statistics to Google. It's up to you. I'm choosing not to send. And then it finishes loading and here you are at the main welcome screen. Okay. And this will walk you through setting up your development environment for Android Studio uh, and also help um, any um, existing Android apps into Studio that you might have um, or to create a new app. So we can go ahead and click next here. Um, if you want to customize your installation settings and components, you can do that. Um, if you want to do standard, and this is uh, going to have um, your most um, common set for most features. So if you're new to Android development, all standard should be fine. We can go back into options later on and add things if we needed to. Uh, we're going to check the settings, uh, look everything over, and see. Okay, it's got the SDK location and, and all. We can go with the defaults and choose the terms and conditions, read those license agreements, make sure you're comfortable with what's there, um, and click accept once you're good. You're going to 
look at the extra license as well um, and look that one over for hardware acceleration execution and if you're good with the license agreement accept it and then click finish and then this is going to finish the downloading and installing of all of the components necessary go watch the details again we're hoping for everything to be successful here during the process and we're just going to wait for that to finish and as you can tell it's not just doing installation it's also downloading and installing at the same time uh, so very your experience will vary uh, besides the download part this recording is actually going through the entire time uh, that is taken on my computer to do the installation and you guys can compare yours uh, to that experience from a performance standpoint other screen I'm getting prompted to allow this to um, make changes on my computer and all uh, I did see an installation fail Intel HAXM installation failed uh, if we need that or run into that later on um, as something I'm going to look into so what I'm going to do um, it also had hypervisor driver installer failed so I'm going to make notes of those um, because those may be a problem for me um, in the future. Um, so I'll do a follow-up recording about how to resolve those in case anybody else runs into those issues. And I will click finish now. And now we're at the welcome screen where we can actually uh, go ahead and create a new project, open an existing project, um, or we can get one from um, control source and there's some other options there as well okay so for the most part um, we are ready to go and uh, begin our android development at this point in time um, if you want to find out um, how to resolve that error that we saw um, there'll be a separate recording for that i'll link that here in the comments um, and i will uh, put that up for everybody um, i hope you found this installation video helpful to get you on the path for doing android development thank you